the logistics sector uh, normally is um, a sector you buy mostly for income, not for sure not for rental growth. Although I would say there is a, there are moderate positive expectations, but this is not the main reason why investors should approach the logistics sector. Uh, it's, more, um, it's a more combination of cyclical factors, so the normal drivers of uh, the demand for logistics uh, like um, trade, manufacturing, consumer sales are picking up generally, and that's the cyclical factor. The more structural factor is uh, generally a reconfiguration of a supply chain, chain in Europe, driven by you know, different uh, factors like uh, urbanization, globalization, technology for sure, and mostly, of course, the impact of e-commerce across all countries in Europe. So uh, as e-commerce is becoming a more and more important part of a daily life for every person uh, in the continent, uh, we expect demand, uh, of course, uh, to keep on growing at very, very, very high levels and uh, to drive demand for uh, new logistics premises. But the thing is that uh, uh, the demand for e-commerce is not the most important mm, part of demand for logistics. But uh, at the same time, this is kind of um, working as a trigger for demand for the whole sector, which means that uh, gen generally so the demand for all these type of premises, premises is going to, to increase, uh, and this will support, support growth in general.